Welcome to another tutorial by WebNewbie.com. Today's tutorial, we're in Adobe Illustrator, and we're going to be going over the pen tool. I'm just going to do a brief um, coverage on the pen tool. The reason why is because this is a beginner's website, and the pen tool is the most difficult tool to master in Adobe Illustrator and for graphic design. This tool, uh, you can do basically anything you want with this tool to create awesome images, off awesome graphics, whatever you're trying to do with it, you can pretty much do it. Um, and so we're just going to do a brief coverage on how to begin using the pen tool because I don't want any of this to go over your head. So what we're going to do is go on the left hand side here and we're going to click on the pen tool. And after we grab this pen tool, I'm going to show you what it does. I'm going to click over here on the top left and all I did was click one time and as you can see it's created this um, anchor point right here just sitting there just waiting for me to do the next step well let's say I click right over here to the right of it it has now created a line across uh, see how this is going wherever I click is where the line is next going to appear so we can only assume if I want to draw a square out I would want the next line to be down here and then the next one over here and the next one right up here and now I've drawn my square out. Now you're wondering, okay, well, what if I want to start a brand new shape? Uh, well, then I'll just go over here and click, right? No, wrong, because obviously a line is just showing up right there. Uh, the pen tool just keeps going from its last anchor point to its next anchor point. So let me push Control Z and get rid of that line. The only way to start a new shape is to go up here and click off of your pen tool. Let's say I just click on the selection tool and then click back on to the pen tool. If I were to come over here, I'm going to start a brand new shape, whichever I want to do. Uh, another cool thing we can do with this pen tool is not just lines. You can actually create uh, curved lines with it. So if I start a line right here, and I go over here, and I click and hold. I don't let go of it yet. And I start rotating my mouse. Notice how I can create a different kind of line like so. Now it's a curved line. If I click right over here, if I click right over here, I've just created something that try something trying to resemble a circle here. <laughs> uh, also take your pen tool and let's go ahead and hover over one of these old anchor points right here. Notice how on the right side of my pen tool there's nothing there right now. If I click right here on the line, a plus shows up. And what that plus means is if I click on that line, it creates a new anchor point for me. See that there? Now if I hover over that anchor point I just created, notice that there's a minus to the right of my pen tool. Well, obviously, you can only guess what that means if I click on that anchor point. It's going to make that anchor point disappear. And that is exactly what it did. If I were to go up to one of these anchor points, uh, let's say here, let's put an anchor point up here on this curve up here. Uh, if I hold the Alt key or Option key down, and I go up to that anchor point right there, notice what my mouse looks like now. It's telling me that from this curved anchor that I've got right here, it's going to create a jagged anchor. And as you can see, instead of having a curved anchor it went straight to a perfectly straight line and a jagged anchor point right there those are some pretty basic and pretty interesting things you can do with this uh, pen tool we can keep drawing different kinds of curved lines Oh, looks like I'm still on that one there you go ahead and click off and click back on uh, we can go over and just you know fiddle around with it a little bit There are some exercises you should probably do, be trying to do. Uh, try and draw in like a, uh, different kinds of shapes just to see and get the feel of this uh, tool you're using because it is a very difficult tool to master. Uh, right now I've just given you some basic ideas of what you can do with this pen tool. You can erase anchor points, you can turn a uh, curved anchor point into a jagged anchor point, you can create curved lines, you can create boxes, you can create 
pretty much anything you want to do with this pen tool, but that should just get you started. And if I were you, I would just keep practicing and practicing and practicing the pen tool until you get it down to a science because that is what you're going to be using most in graphic design. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial on webnewbie.com. Hope to see you next time. Go check out our website and check out our tutorials. Thanks a lot.